times when we rush, we can't give the best of ourselves. It's okay to take breaks. It's okay to sleep. It's okay to listen to our bodies and our spirit, because that is a whole thing, you know. Sometimes you're sleeping and it's like, I'm still exhausted. And it's like, it's because it's not your body that's tired. It's your soul, bro. Like, it's your whole holistic self that is exhausted. Either of doing the same shit over and over, you know, um... And there was something, somebody put, like, normalize the fact that some people have to work jobs that they don't enjoy because we live in a society that you got to pay to survive, right? And a way to reclaim your time is literally using your breaks. Going for a walk, like... Having a moment, even if it's 5 to 15 minutes, that is yours. Because when you're run down, nothing nothing high value will come from you. Nothing. Not even like relationships or conversations. Like you're just going to be a zombie going along with the world. And that's how, you know we get sick it's how relationships start severing it's how we start forgetting that there is a whole person in this weird you know body that we exist in you know it's you know whatever you can see through these eyes of yours Um, through these windows there's a human being there who needs care who needs nurturing who needs joy who needs nourishment in all of the ways it's not just you know a machine where we're programmed to do and do and do and do and do and so like even when guilty like what are you what are you overworking for what don't you want to sit with that you're rushing your way through some of the most important meaningful and sometimes best moments of your life I am a big believer of like the most mundane small things are the things that really, really matter to me. Um, It's like receiving a hug that you didn't even know you needed, right? Especially in a time where we, we have been starved of touch. Like you can't sit in that if you're worried about oh I have to go to work right after this or I have to create this or I have to finish this or so I know on Twitter I had um, just kind of posed the question which I literally use Twitter um, most times to like speak to myself and sometimes it hits people <laughs> But today it was literally the question of like, when was the last time that you have offered yourself gentleness? And through that is the beginning of a different kind of healing. You know, um, we as people tend to struggle a lot with like, caring for ourselves but like if you if you think of a loved one right because we never not never I can't do a blanking statement but it's hard for us as individuals most times to see ourselves as a loved one but like would you allow somebody you deeply sincerely love to work themselves to the bone 
to not eat all day, to not sleep, to be hungry of meaningful connections. Then why would you do it to yourself? It's kind of like self-harm, almost. Um, all this work, all this nonstop, all this grinding, all of this, you know. We are worthy of more. We are worthy of kindness. Even if no one else is giving it to us, then it is our responsibility to give it to ourselves. Your creations will be there waiting for you and all the more better if you take the time and care that it needs. And this is, you know, it's not for stuff that's like, oh, I have a deadline tomorrow, right? But I'm saying like the bigger picture. You know, one thing is like having a project and knowing that tomorrow it has to be done and all these things. But like once you meet your deadlines or even in between deadline time, have you offered yourself gentleness? And it will be weird. It will be uncomfortable if you're not used to it. But try Through that, I have realized when I am a little bit more rested or have some idle or free time that I have made for myself, I create. And maybe it won't mean anything, or maybe it'll be something that I can build upon later. So in this potential day off that many people may or may not have, Find a moment to carve out time consistently for yourself. It doesn't have to be a grand gesture. It can literally be like, I'm going to just rest my eyes. Like, I get it now. I think I'm old enough to understand the resting of eyes. But literally rest my eyes for like five minutes. You will be surprised what a five-minute nap can do. It sounds ridiculous, but it helps. Um, Sitting outside in the sun for a few minutes. Stopping what you're doing to actually make yourself something to eat. Like, I have been cooking these past, I don't know, two days. Um, and it's a difference. It it feels different. It's intentional. Be intentional about yourself. How about that? That's, you know, be intentional about how you decide to show up and live life. Sometimes um, I do have moments where it's like I sit back and just allow life to like pummel me. Um. But there are moments it's like, no, I'm going to be a little more intentional. What is the energy that I want today? What are the vibes I'm trying to do? If I lost my cool, how do I come back and reset it? Because I'm reclaiming my motherfucking energy. My time. My life. If we have not learned anything, I think we have learned that t- that life is all we have especially this one so um that's kind of what I have for you um I'm still figuring my way through I'm doing my best to remove the overloads that I tend to put on my schedule and sometimes it means saying sorry I can't do this even though I said I would. It means rescheduling. It means canceling. It means reprioritizing. Um, It means posting less. 
And if that affects the way that things are done, then that means there needs to be a reconfiguring of sorts. So, may you reclaim your life with gentleness. When you treat yourself with the kindness that no one else in the world will give, it sets a shift. It lets people know that what they not going to do is play with you. Because you don't play with yourself, right? Um, and not that way. But anyways. Um, self-care is also saying, I'm going to go lay down. Go lay down. I don't know if anybody saw that on TikTok. But anyway. Um, it means that I'm going to hydrate myself. I'm going to allow this space for laughter, for tears, for whatever. Like, feel everything you got to feel. Don't go on autopilot because we miss out on so much when we're numb all of the time. So, you know, I got deadlines (laughs) that I'm going to go, you know, work on, but also, like... I'm taking my time on the way there. And so I don't know how many episodes I'm going to have. But the finale is coming. Um, Not sure. I haven't thought about how it's going to all, you know, work or whatever. But we'll see. Uh, I appreciate anybody who is still rocking with me in between this transitionary hot mess (laughs) that I've had this season of a podcast. Uh, I hope that you've enjoyed everyone that I have enjoyed. Uh, It's been a very interview heavy season, but I've loved every single interview. Um, It's most of the people that I have been able to like follow their work and all of these things um and so as always thank you thank you for listening thank you for empowering me to keep doing this Um, you know, I always say it's like sometimes I feel like, you know, I'm yelling to avoid like y'all could hit me up on Twitter or something from time to time. So I know y'all are there. Um, but I'm always grateful to anybody willing to listen to someone who didn't have a voice for a long time. And so church announcements, I'm not really a church goer, um, but announcements, announcements, um, things that are happening <sighs> next week, I will be slanging crystals, healing crystals as in um, nature and not man-made things. Um in a all uh, woman healing space Um, if you're interested in that that's the love space Nikki N-I-K-K-I I'll also put the links somehow in the show notes if I can figure that out also I will be doing a poetry reading um, also on the 11th, and that is in the evening. So, if you want to hear me recite some poetry, y'all, I'll put the link and you can, you know, watch a play. What else? Oh, I will also be teaching. So, if anybody is a writer or y'all got writer friends, tell a homie, bring a homie. I have courses and also scholarships are available for folks. Um, And so it's a world.